Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Scorpio, I did want to look a little bit deeper into your reading. As you guys, um, I'm sure you guys are aware, we have recently gone through a solar eclipse. And on July the 4th, we will be going through a lunar eclipse. So there's a lot of major transitions, a lot of uh, transmutative type of energy, as well as... Um, not only the lunar eclipse but with all the planets that we have in the sign of capricorn pluto being one of them uh there's a lot of like i said major transitions and changes that are happening so let's get into your shell reading before we pull out your tarot cards to see what spirit has for you guys for this month of july spirits what are the messages for scorpio sun moon rising and venus for the month of july 2020 Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, July 2020. Okay. All right. All right, Scorpio, a lot of you guys really expanding. For those of you guys that are in the public sector, or for those of you guys that are in sales, anything that has to do with dealing with people on an everyday basis, I do see major transformative type of energy. If you guys have been ex experiencing like a, a bit of slowdown or a bit of uh, lack of movement in your profession sector or even with your finances, that's quickly going to be released. Uh, this is an energy that is passing. And what they're showing me here is a lot of expansion. As you guys can see, there's a lot of separation here. So this is when we're able to see a lot of the energies and momentum start to take place for um different aspects in your life they are speaking uh, directly about uh, your business and your finances for those of you guys that are thinking of starting your own business or running your own business now is the time to actually start to take uh, the, the the steps towards achieving that goal now what they're saying here is that with this transformative type of energy a lot of residue energy a lot of people from your past coming back around Scorpio I do see for some of you guys almost like a particular lost love or a feeling of something, uh, someone, I should say, someone from your past that was uh, almost like there was a feeling of things were left unsaid or un, you know, undone, like you didn't really get that closure that you were looking for. I do see them coming back around as I do see that there is um, almost like a distant hope uh, for some type of conclusion or some type of ending that you were hoping for or perhaps even holding on to the hope or idea that they would be returning and I do see a person um, circling around you and this is a person from your past like I said um, now this could go as back as three years for some of you guys this could go as back as seven years uh, but this is definitely a person that greatly impacted your life and it could be an earth sign so it could be a Virgo Taurus or Capricorn um, doesn't have to be their sun sign. It could be their moon sign, but I do see earth here or earth element type of energy. So again, like I said, I do see them coming back around trying to make some type of communication or trying to mend fences, uh, give you the closure that you were looking for or give themselves the closure. Uh, perhaps this is something they've been carrying with themselves for a very long time. Um, and finally that communication opens up. But all in all, what they're saying here is that in regards to finances, uh, specifically finances and business, um, I'm, I'm almost hearing like entrepreneurship. So for those of you guys that have been, like I said, looking to start your own business or start your own business or get your business off the ground, now is the time to do it. Really put action into that because remember, Pluto is in the sign of Capricorn. We have Jupiter, we have Saturn, we have um pluto and we have the moon so with the lunar eclipse uh what's going to happen is anything that has been in the hidden or anything that we've been trying to suppress is going to come out in the open it's being highlighted with the eclipse itself so again a lot of transformative type of energy uh pluto is also a sign of you know transitions of death of transmutation so all of these energies um it's almost like a kind of ending the year with a big bang for some of you guys. It could be that uh, you've been struggling financially and you end up or end getting uh, to the point of by December being able to see a massive 
uh, massive shift or change when it comes to your to, to your finances itself. So I definitely do see a lot of that. Keep in mind, like I said, um, Capricorn is the sign of you know business. It's the sign of success of uh, the sign of profession and government and politics and with everything that's going on right now. What they're saying is just try the best you can to take a deep breath, uh, Scorpio. Uh, try not to allow outside energies or outside sources influence the way you see things or even overanalyze certain situations that are none of your concern. So what I mean by that is if you have a family member, someone coming towards you to try to get some input from you, try to stay neutral. Don't try to get yourself caught up into so much drama because I do want to mention we do have, um, it's almost like a sign of, you know, to me it symbolizes the mouth and mouth is all about gossip or sometimes being loose with our lips. So uh, again, keeping in mind that we have Saturn in the 10th house of Capricorn, which is a ruling planet, that's the karma planet. And when it's being highlighted uh, with the lunar eclipse that we're going to be experiencing with the moon, anything that we might be snarky about or that we may uh you know communicate with someone else expecting that you know that's never going to leave their mouth turns out that they could you know start rumors or something like that so just be careful and mindful about that try to keep yourself away from drama scorpio all right let's see what spirit has for you guys with your tarot cards okay Spirits, what are the messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2020? Now, like I said, um, having uh, having all these planets in the 10th house, uh, the house of Capricorn, um, you know, Saturn is, is right there. It's present. Uh, this is all to do with, like I said, it's the karma planet. It's all about even if you felt like at some point there was undoings to you or people mistreated you or took you for granted, you're going to start to see all of this type of energy really come out in the open, almost even like on a public, on a public, um, on a pl public platform. Uh, it could be like, for instance, you know, if your ex did you wrong or if someone did you wrong, it could be that they're shamed or that they're embarrassed. Um, on Facebook or Instagram or something like that uh, and it's kind of like you're just sitting back and and really taking in the karma like yeah uh, about time I see you know karma stepping in now again hidden motives with the moon just be careful not to get yourself tangled up into that drama because um, if you tempt fate uh, that may actually come out and pretty much blow up in your face so just be careful with that all right, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of July, 2020. All right, so you have the Ten of Pentacles. So financial stability um, on a journey or trying to, trying to get yourself out of a confusion, trying to get yourself, basically, I see you guys searching for clarity. I see you guys searching for uh kind of feeling vindicated about a situation or a circumstance this could be dealing with uh, family dynamics as well but the ten of pentacles usually indicates a lot of financial stability coming in for you guys and the six of swords being able to go to calmer waters or to actually uh go from basically being stressed about finances to being able to create um an achievement or something you've been wanting for some of you guys it could be buying your first house for others of you it could excuse me it could be changing residency um and i do see that in the foreseeable future now you do have the seven of cups try to keep your energy uh try to keep your energy very direct uh, scorpio so what i mean by that is try not to uh be very scattered don't put a lot of things in your plate things that perhaps if it gets to a point where you're becoming you know overwhelmed take a step back don't continue telling people yeah i got this i got this when in reality uh, you may need some help and it's and it's okay to ask for help like I said just keep in mind not to overtake or to even make any promises that you later on may have to break because you're just not able whether it be time constraint or whether it be because you have a lot of things going on so just keep that in mind now you do have here the sun card uh, next to uh, the sun card next to the hanged man 
For some of you guys, you're dealing with a child. If you guys have children, you may be dealing with a child that feels somewhat, uh, in some shape, way, or form, neglected. Uh, and what they're saying here is it's not so much about what you tell them or how you express um, how you express that you care for them. Uh, it has more to do with them wanting or having the need to actually spend quality time with you. And I feel that for some of you guys, it could be because of work. For others of you, you could have a lot of things going on in your life where it's just really difficult to actually, you know, give that type of, you know, energy and time. But it is important. You don't want your children to grow up feeling neglected or to feel like they can go to someone else uh, to basically open up instead of doing that with you. Um, you do have here, right at the center, we have the world card. So like I said, a lot of karmic... Uh, a lot of karmic cycles ending for you guys and like i said don't be surprised if you start seeing people coming in but just as quickly as they come in they're as quickly to go out so don't really put all your eggs in one basket especially when we're talking about a person from the past that you may still have feelings for you may uh, think about them um once in a blue moon um if they do come back around and they do try to communicate i think that both of you guys are carrying a lot of resentment or a lot of hurt towards one another that uh, giving yourself another opportunity or another chance at this relationship would only turn into toxic type of energy. Let go of what's not serving you anymore, Scorpio. I do see a lot of blessings coming your way and I think that one of them is you have to release the past. Whether it's experiences that you have been carrying for a very long time, whether it's secrets of how you were treated uh, how you were mistreated, I should say, or resentment towards people that, you know, took you for granted. It's time to, you know, it's time to change the page. It's time to go to the next chapter in your life. And what they're telling you here is letting go of that hurt, letting go of that pain. Now, for those of you guys that are in a serious uh, long-term committed relationship, keep in mind uh, with the lunar eclipse being very overly emotional, um, could be a sign of becoming i think the energies are weighing very heavy on you right now and like i said try not to overreact when it comes to situations um or dealing with family members as you know taking that taking that route or snapping at people for no reason what you're doing is you're basically creating some type of distance and i'm not talking about people that are irrelevant to you i'm talking about people that you genuinely care for because i think that the more you tap into your shadow side the more you push people away and it's almost like a defensive mechanism or there's something secretive something that perhaps you don't want people to see you vulnerable but what they're telling you here is that you know you can't push people away and then be mad that they walked away because no one's going to put up with that nonsense i hope that makes sense all right, my lovelies, let's see what Spirit's direct message is for you for this month of July 2020. Spirits, what are the messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of July 2020? Scorpio. Okay. Your first card here is Balance, Spirituality, and Practicality, Full Moon in Pisces. For some of you guys, it could be that you've been... Uh, reaching out or trying to connect on a spiritual um on a spiritual journey for some of you guys becoming more spiritually inclined for some of you guys becoming closer to your faith or really seeking um a higher purpose in life and i think that again pluto does do that to us um where it kind of triggers you know our what we've been taught up until now and we kind of question it and we wonder does this make sense to me or you know, should I take a different route, a different approach, uh, a different faith that perhaps I can feel more connected to? And what they're telling you here is balance spirituality and practicality. That means integrating your spirituality on your everyday life, on your everyday mundane things that you that you have going on. It's kind of like that uh, reading that was done for, I believe it was Leo or uh, Capricorn, if I'm not mistaken where they were talking about you know don't just get closer to your faith or to your spirituality when you're going to through difficulties it's important to feel grateful it's important to give thanks 
and to be genuinely appreciative of life when things are going good not just when things are going bad that's when we become more spiritual uh so take note with that scorpio now your next card here is time to release negativity full moon and scorpio so it's exactly what they were saying here releasing there's a there's this this heavy energy that i'm sensing and what they're saying is that there is a lot of things that you need to purge yourself from scorpio sometimes when we often ask ourselves you know what is it that is keeping me from achieving certain goals or what is it uh, that what blockages keep coming up when I'm trying to walk towards a path or some type of, you know, uh, goal or aspiration that I'm trying to achieve. And sometimes, believe it or not, all it takes is for us to step back and get out of our own way for that manifestation to happen. So it has more to do with believing in yourself and having faith, but at the same time, don't let your mind get the best of you and this is negative chatter this is when you catch yourself being negative to yourself or when you catch yourself being extremely negative or judgmental to other people and what they're telling you here is that what you put out is exactly what you get in so it's time for you to be more positive so that you can experience mo more positive circumstances and situations that are going to give you more reasons to be thankful for all right, Scorpio, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon.